If you've been looking for an MBN plan, you've probably discovered that there are different types of MBN available. You may have already heard terms like FTTN, FTTP, FTTC, HFC, and many more acronyms. We get it. It's enough to make you say WTF. Here at Aussie Broadband, we want to help you make sense of it all, in plain English too. So here's an explanation of the different types of MBN. FTTP stands for fibre to the premises, which means that the fibre is connected all the way from the exchange to your office or house. This is the gold standard when it comes to MBN, with maximum potential speeds of one gigabit per second. FTTC stands for fibre through the curb and uses a fibre connection to your curb or driveway. The last hop to your home or office is completed with existing copper wiring. This is the next best performing MBN with maximum potential speeds of 100 megabits per second. FTTB stands for fibre through the building. This type of MBN is found in buildings such as apartment complexes or unit blocks. Fibre is connected to a central point in the building with copper running from a singular connection point to each unit's wall socket. This delivers similar levels of performance and speed to an FTTC connection. HFC stands for Hybrid Fibre Coaxial. This type of MBN connection runs a fibre cable to a cabinet near your premises, aka the node. Instead of using copper wiring between the node and your property, HFC uses existing coaxial cable, which was previously used for pay TV or cable networks in metro areas, with maximum potential speeds of 100 megabits per second. FTTN stands for fibre to the node. Like HFC, this type of MBN connection runs a fibre cable to a node, then connects to your property through existing copper lines, which can be anywhere from 50 metres up to 1.5 kilometres in length. As this type of MBN uses the most copper, it can cause a large variation in maximum speeds, which range from anywhere from 25 to 100 megabits per second. Fixed wireless is used in rural and out of town areas and requires a fixed antenna on your roof to receive a wireless signal from a tower. As the wireless signal can be affected by many factors, the maximum potential speed range from 12 to 50 megabits per second. So, this is the MBN multi-technology mix in a nutshell. If you're keen to find out more about what type of MBN you'll be connecting to, you can check out our blog post or jump on our website to check your address. Check out Aussie Broadband today.